Welcome back, scholars, to Super Spy Guided Reading. It is episode 19. It's called Go Animals Go. Let's read our note from the Super Spy. Hello, spies. The side word of the day is locked in this box. To unlock the sight word, you need to review your letter sounds. Say the sound of each letter and you will unlock the, unlock the box. After you master the sight word, you have a special reading challenge. Let's get started. Good luck, super spy. So we have to review some letter sounds to unlock the treasure box to figure out what our sight word is for the day. Are you ready to review some letter sounds? Let's go. What sound does this letter make? Great job. What about this letter? Eh, eh, eh. Let's keep going. You're doing great. What sound does this letter make? This letter makes a sound. You're right. Keep, keep, keep going. Great job. What about this letter? Ah, ah, ah. This letter makes a ah sound. Awesome sauce. Let's do, let's see if we have any more letters. Oh, we do. What, what, what sound does this letter make? Oh, good job. Oh. And we did this one already. This is, we should know this one. What sound does this letter make? Eh, eh, eh. Good job. I think that's all the letters we have to do. We did. Eh. Ah. Oh. Eh. Great job reviewing those letter sounds. Let's see if we have unlocked our sight word. We have. Our sight word for the day is the word before. Like we go to recess before we eat lunch. Or I like to brush my teeth before I wash my face. Our sight word is the word before. Can you say before? Great job, say it again. Before, awesome sauce. Our friend Mr. B is going to help us learn the word before. What letters do we see in the word before? B E F O R E. Before. Mr. B, will you help us spell before? He's going to help us spell it. Let's spell it with Mr. B. We have B E F O R E. Before. Thank you, Mr. B. Everybody say buzz, buzz, buzz. Mr. B helped us spell before. Let's see if he can help us again. B E F O R E before. Mr. B, will you help us one more time? Let's spell it with Mr. B. Are we ready? B E F O R E before. Mr. B, you're spelling before on your own. Great job. Mr. B says, scholars, can you do it? Spell it before with Mr. B. Are you ready? Go. Great job. You and Mr. B are doing great together. Well, Mr. B, Mr. B said there's a letter hiding behind one of his flowers. Can you help Mr. B figure out what flower, what letter's missing? What, what letter's behind this flower? B-E-F-O-R-E, -E, before. B-E-F-O-R-E, -E, before. What letter do you think is missing? Hmm, you think the letter 
E is missing? Well, let's see what Mr. B says. Mr. B, do you think the letter E is missing? He's gonna go see, he's gonna go behind the flower and pull out the letter that's missing. <gasps> We're right, scholars. The letter E was behind that flower. Great job, Mr. B. Great job, scholar. <gasps> There's another letter missing now. B E F O. Hmm. What letter is hiding in that flower? You think it's the letter R? Mr. B, they think it's the letter R. Go see if it's the letter R. Let's see. It is the letter R. Great job, Mr. B. Great job, scholars. There's another letter missing. What letter is it? You think it's the F? Mr. B, go tell us if it's the letter F. It was the letter F. Great job. You and Mr. B worked together to help spell the word before. Whoa, Mr. B, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Mr. B is saying that now all the letters are scrambled but he has to put them back in order. He doesn't know which way they go, so he's gonna need our help. So can we tell Mr. B what letter goes first? B, right, our B goes first. What letter goes next? E. Keep going. F. O. R, E, great job, before. Mr. B is so excited that we helped him figure it out. Awesome, you guys are so helpful. I think Mr. B is super excited and he's so grateful that you helped him fix his word. Now we have a spy reading challenge. To get ready for our spy reading challenge, you need your spy tools. You need a pencil, your magic reading finger, your Go Animals Go reader, and the worksheet. Some of our words got covered up. It's okay. We see the things that we need. So make sure you have everything in your area so you can be ready. Pause the video right here to get all of your things. Before we start reading, I've pulled a page from the story we're about to read. I have a question. Where do we start reading? Right, we start on the left side of the page. Which way do we go when we read? You are so smart. You remembered your super spy reading tips. You read from left to right, then from top to bottom. Awesome. Let's get ready to read. Before we read, we have a focus question that we're gonna put on the front of our mind. So this is a question that we're going to be thinking about the entire time we're reading our book. So the question Ms. Stroud wants you to be thinking about is how did the different animal go or travel? Remember, our book is called Go Animals Go. And I want you to be thinking about how did the different animals go slash travel. So put on that thinking cap so you can answer our focus question when we get done reading. Are you ready to read? Let's read. Go, animals, go. What animals do you see on the cover of our book? I see a cat and a pig. I also see a cow, just like you saw. Well, what do you see, Christian? Wow, that's pretty cool. What about you, Bentley? Great job at looking at that picture to see what animals we might see in our story. Let's get ready to read. Make sure that magic reading finger is ready. 
point to each word as we read. The, what animal is this? Cow, great job. The cow is in a, what is the cow in? A car, good job. Let's read that entire sentence. The cow is in a car. The, good job, pig, this is a pig. The pig is on a, a what? What is the pig on? A bicycle, great job. The pig is on a bicycle. What was the cow in? A car. What was the pig on? A bicycle. The, what is this? A goat. The goat is in a, a boat. Great job reading. The goat is in a boat. The, woof, 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 woof. Right, the dog. The dog is on a, hmm, you said train? Great job. The dog is on a train. The dog is on a train. What was the goat in? In a boat. And the dog is in a train. The wah, wah, wah. Right, the duck. The duck is in a aeroplane. The duck is in an aeroplane. Great job. The bird, good job, is on, what is the bird on? Skates. The bird is on skates. The, what's this? Cat. Cat. The cat is on a He's on a horse, that is so silly. That's an animal on an animal. <laughs> silly cat. Let's read our last page together, ready? Go, animals, go. Great job. So now we're back to our focus question. How did the different animals go or travel? Okay, give me another one. Whoa, which one was your favorite? Okay, I like that one too. I think my favorite though would be the duck in the aeroplane. Cause that's silly, ducks can already fly. Why does he need an airplane to fly? He has wings. Silly duck. We're going to answer some questions about the story that we just read. So make sure that you have your worksheet in front of you. Hmm, what do we have to do at the top of our page when we're getting ready to do our worksheet? We have to write our first and last name. So Ms. Stroud is going to write her first and last name. I'm gonna write Spy Stroud. I'm gonna use my, try to use my best handwriting. Great job, Spy Stroud. Great job writing your name, I see. Grant wrote his name. I see Andrew wrote his name. I see Jerron wrote his name. Great job, guys. Writing your first and last name. Which of the following, we're doing question number one. Which of the following can really happen? So which one of these can really happen? We're gonna bubble in the one that can actually happen. So let's see, the animals go or the animal skates. What have you seen in real life? Have you seen animals go like they're moving or have you seen animals skate? Right, we've seen animals go. So let's bubble in animals go. 
Number two, why did the author, wait, let's stop here. What do authors do? Right, they write the words in a story. So why did this author write these type of words to this story? Why did he say that a duck was in an airplane or a goat was in a boat or a dog was in a train? Why would he write those things? Would he write those things to show silly ways that different things can go? Or would he show that all things, all the things that animal, that real animals can do, I'm sorry. Did he do this to show all the things that real animals can do? Can real animals ride skates? Nah. Do real animals drive trains? Nope. So it couldn't be to show us all the things real animals can do. So what do you think the answer might be? Right, to show all the silly ways that different things can go. Great job. Which of the following is not something? Which one of the following is not something? The animals in the book use to go somewhere. So if you need some help, flip back in your book to figure out the answer. Which one of these did they not use? A bus or a horse? Right, a bus because the cat was on the horse, right? So they did use the horse, they did not use a bus. Number four, how are a bicycle and car alike? Can they both go in water or do they both have wheels? Right, they both have wheels. How many wheels does a car have? Four, how many wheels does a bicycle have? Two, but they both have wheels. Number five, which one of the following has wings and flies? Hmm, which one of these have wings and can fly? Can an airplane have wings and fly? Or does a train have wings and fly? Great job, it's the airplane. It looks like we finished all of our work for the day. I, oh, we have completed our mission. Give yourself a round of applause. You learned your sight word before, B-E-F-O-R-E. -E. You did your reading challenge. You pointed to each word as you read and you answered the questions about our story. You deserve some shine. You are absolutely amazing. I hope that you had a great time doing our lesson today. Keep up the good work and keep growing that brain. Bye scholars.